Hello friends, welcome back to Uncommon Adventures. If you guys watch every video, this is the same day as the Monster Museum later in the afternoon. We had to end the video, it would have been, it was, it's already probably gonna be super long. It was an awesome place. If you missed it, it was the video before this. So yeah, we are at Lake Mead. We're camping at Boulder Beach. It's only 20 bucks a night. It's dry camping. There's no meaning, there's just no power. They do have bathrooms and they have water and dump station and trash. So not bad for 20 bucks being, you know, what, 20 minutes from Vegas, something like that. Not too far to drive to Vegas. So yeah, we're gonna walk down here and see the water. If you can see the, see the bathtub ring around here, Right now, we should be under probably about 100 foot of water. That is crazy. So yeah, today's adventures, we're just gonna, we're gonna check out the water and then we're gonna go through Boulder City. There's a couple, at least one place we wanna stop. It's like an antique store that has like amazing, huge like statues for like your yard. If you're crazy like us. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they would really be for. So yeah, let's go see some water. Annie's excited. Annie, are you excited? I don't think it's a beach, it's just rock. I think there used to be a boat launch, but now nothing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Somebody has an RC boat. There's a guy over here with an RC truck jumping it. I don't know where he went. I bring mine. Uh, I mean, we don't have room right now. Your whole car was full of baby stuff. Annie, slow down, Annie. Lake Mojave is a lot closer to us. And it's not super low like this. Stop pulling me, Annie. Very pretty. I believe how low it is though. Oh, I don't know. Some kind of little some kind of little clam thing. Which means this was underwater like not very long ago. Which means this thing is going down quick. Holy crap. I had no idea. Annabelle. That's crazy. This was like where we're standing right now was probably underwater days ago. I guess, I mean, it could go up a little bit each day, up and down, because they let some out of the dam. That's how it usually works. But I don't know. It's pretty crazy. It's going down very rapidly because I watch a couple YouTube channels sometimes that kind of document as boats come out of the water as it's going down they just keep finding more and more sunken boats and yeah a few bodies if you keep up with it if they have recovered a few bodies one in like a drum so that was definitely foul play <laughs> you know he didn't he didn't put himself in a drum this ain't Niagara Falls but yeah, look at Annie just walk. Annie, oh, you're lucky I brought you a she, towel. She just walked She don't care. Look at her. She don't like the waves though. But this isn't moving. It's like behind all these tons of tumbleweeds here that have blown off off the desert somewhere. That's pretty crazy. That's a lot of tumbleweeds. There was a story of a lady when the internet first started, yeah. when it was first started getting popular, this lady was lived in the desert somewhere and she started selling tumbleweeds. All People over just the country. Yeah, she she did it for like one simple reason or something, I can't remember why, but then people started requesting them. So yeah, she started mailing them to people. I don't know. It's crazy. She made a killing though. Well, I guess if anybody, if anybody wants a tumbleweed, I'll mail it to you for a price. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that metal thing is. If anybody knows, I can probably look it up, but 
I've seen them like on the rivers too. Not sure what it is. It used to be like right up at the water. And now the water is very far from it. So whatever it did, it probably don't do no more. Some of these are pretty big. Annie, I was trying to show the I was trying to show the shells here, Annie. I guess these are bustles, right? These are like these are like what they look for on boats when you go into California and stuff, I think. These are like freshwater mussels, I think. I think, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. Something that would be shell. my guess. Huh. Annie will eat them if they're fresh, if she can dig them up. If we was on like a beach, she will dig into the sand to get them. All right, we're up in Bullhead City at Boulder. Bull, Bullhead City. We're in Boulder City. And this is Bullhead City Antiques and Collectibles and Antiques. They have some awesome, huge statues out front that we're going to check out. We've been looking for something for our yard. Look at that little guy. That's funny. I kind of like that too. It doesn't really fit our house, does it? Yeah, needs a little work. This is why we wanted to stop. We could have a big cock in our yard. <laughs> okay, I don't know. I like this. I like this butler guy. And the, and the, the what do you call him? A toro? Uh, oh, something like that. There you go. That is pretty cool. Kind of like Pirate Jack here. What's he doing? Uh, I don't know. Kind of like the huge chef. And we got a rabbit. Is that from, is that from, uh, what do you call it? What? The, the rabbit? I don't think so. From, what do you call it? What do you call the cartoon? Yeah, Alice in Wonderland. Look at this guy. There's some down here that I don't think go with this place. It, this says it's an auction house. But they have some awesome stuff down here. Holy crap. Wow. I think that's like the gargoyle from Ghostbusters up on the building. If not, it's very similar, I think. Oh, yeah, cool buggy. It's like a little Amish buggy or something. We got an old stove. I guess all this stuff's getting auctioned. It says weekly auction. That looks like a for real wagon. Look at this dinosaur. There was one behind the Tom Laughlin's Monster Museum when we did that and Annie barked at it. This is a gas pump like I remember. This is like 70s, 80s. That's what I grew up using. That, that's wow, the pop machine really too. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting there. That is a huge freaking bear. Holy crap. Oh, let me get a picture of you. Joby. Joby. You got a big horse. That's a huge horse too. It's like life size. Tiny buffalo and a tiny cow. Cows are popular right now, but that's silly. I don't want no cow. That's pretty cool. What is that, like a cat running? It's like a bobcat running. Wow. There's your golf cart. $3,500. There, look at this. There's another place here with some yard art. We're going to check it out. It's all metal. pretty neat very colorful I don't want no llama in my yard I kind of like the dinosaurs yeah I like those big dinosaurs I don't like anything that's like pretending to be real really I mean, besides our fake grass I put in, 
But we live in the desert and we need to be conserving water. We already have a pool, but that's kind of, the pool kind of works as two things. You know, it's also emergency water. If anything ever happens, we can clean it and drink it if we need to, to save our lives. Oh, the donkey's neat. It's a donkey with, with packs on his back. Superman. It's pretty cool. They got a lot of cool stuff. Wow. This place is huge. Got all dinosaurs. All kinds of stuff. There's some miners working. Panning for some gold. Oh, there's a huge dinosaur. That's pretty cool. Oh, I like the lion. That's pretty, that's pretty neat. I like that. Whoa, that is a big buffalo. It's almost full size. Oh, I like that. $268. That's crazy. I'm about to play some golf. Dang. Oh, there's another alien smoking a blunt. That's, <laughs> That's pretty funny. You'd need them both. You know, like they was out on the golf course together. He's a little smaller. But I think they would look good as a pair. <laughs> Definitely. Look at this guy. Whoa. Yeah, once we get the rocks out front, the backyard could use a little something. Yeah. You know, we're the only ones that see it, but still, we have company, and I wouldn't mind something to look at. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Pretty cool antique store. Collectibles, all kinds of stuff. Uh, there's toys. What kind of toys you got? Hippo launchers. A little dirt bike. <laughs> a bunch of Barbies. Candace used to have a Barbie doll collection. There's Supergirl Barbie. Teen Talk. Here's a Michael Jackson. That's pretty cool. 40 bucks. That's pretty neat. I was, I was, I'm an 80s kid. I'm a Michael Jackson fan. What can I say? Some pretty neat stuff. 1985. Oh, that's you. That's me. It's a preemie. Oh, it's a baby Candace. I sure wasn't a preemie. There's a 1984. That one doesn't say a year. Got some vintage dolls here. There's some nice old dolls. Jovi's still a little young. She bites them and throws them. That's what I grew up on, the, laying on the floor watching Saturday morning cartoons on. All right, guys, Joby is napping. It's been a long day, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Thank you guys for watching, and we will see you in just two days.